Foreigners are furious over Tara Lipinski's powerful statement. The figure skater remembers injuries and criticizes her for supporting Tutbirds. Olympic champion from the USA Tara Lipinski remains the only foreign expert who openly criticizes the increase in the age limit in figure skating. The athlete is sure that the ISU decision will ruin the discipline and gives powerful arguments in favor of this. However, most fans ignore her words. They have their own truth. Tara is a traitor who supports the harsh methods of educating champions, allegedly common in the group of Atari Tutbirds. In America, Lipinski was harshly criticized for loyalty to the Russian coach and accused of hypocrisy. They recalled both the injured hip and Voliva's doping story, which the champion seemed to ignore while working as a correspondent at the Beijing Games. But Tara does not give up and fights for the truth. Her critics had a hard time. The news about the increase in the age limit has stirred up the whole world of figure skating. The ISU decision is being actively discussed in Russia and abroad. Moreover, the reform has both defenders and opponents, many of whom are our specialists. Nevertheless, not everyone abroad is happy about such an innovation either. Olympic champion from the USA Tara Lipinski harshly criticized the position of foreign officials, noting that this would adversely affect the development of discipline. In her opinion, raising the minimum age of participants in international competitions will only strengthen the silencing of the problems of the broken system, the basis of which is violence against athletes. Tara's powerful statement caused a mixed reaction among her compatriots. In America, they considered her words an attack against their country and accused her of hypocrisy, noting that health problems in 15-year-old figure skaters are too common. Critics are sure that they were the reason for Lipinski's early retirement from sports. The American ended her career almost immediately after winning the Olympics in Nagano in 1998, which they concentrated on. I have to disagree. I think it protects their bodies from pressure at a younger age. Russian figure skaters were used, bullied and thrown out at the age of 17. Keeping the bodies of young girls for another two years is good for their health, Kimberly Ann wrote. Why did you have hip surgery at the age of 17, madam? Riri asked ironically. It's not a quick decision, Ms. Lipinski. You could still have both of your old hips if someone had paid attention to the fact that you were an underdeveloped teenager who should not have performed a three-low three-low cascade with such a terrible technique. Where are your real thighs? Commentator A.J. DeMauro supported her. If you really care about the safety of athletes, then you will support the ban on quads among juniors. It would be nice if skaters didn't need to replace both thighs before the age of 30, right? You certainly know that, added user Loose Dreams. Tara's answer was bright and concise, she refuted the fans' speculation about a hip injury and told the truth. There has never been a hip replacement. Never. There was laparoscopic surgery on the upper lip. The same operation as Kwan and Nagasu. But thank you for taking care of my hips. Lipinski was also reproached for supporting cruel methods of educating champions and cited as an example the group of the Terry Tutbirds, where, according to foreigners, young girls are terrorized for the sake of victories. Yes, you are an athlete, like many of these 15-16 year old figure skaters, but they are also children raising the age limit is one step towards ending this violence. And let's be honest, violence in the Atari group, which you have been instigating for many years, Dim Mang Nu noted. It's stupid. Will this stop all abusive teaching methods? Of course not. But this is a step in the right direction. This also ensures that we will never have a similar situation with Camila, which was absolutely terrible for all participants, agrees with the previous commentator Megan D. All you do is praise the students of Atari, who have been openly mocked for years, a user with the nickname Kaori Sakamoto World Champion was indignant. It was not without mentioning the situation with Camila Voliva, who was suspected of doping at the Beijing Games. Abroad, it is assumed that the coaches of the figure skater are to blame for the incident. It was for loyalty to the Tutbirds group that Lipinski got. The system is broken due to rampant violence, which everyone saw and frankly ignored until Camila received a positive result. You and Johnny still called Terry the gold standard during the team tournament. 
everyone knew, no one took the initiative, and now the only way to change is reactive, Aaron expressed her position. You literally praised the coach, whose entire training methodology is based on doping and bullying of teenage girls, said M. Foro. When you were kissing Atari's ass and she was racking her head and drugging the kids, you didn't seem to care much about stopping the violence. You are part of the broken system that we need to get rid of, the user Oriana Sully sharply responded and did not remain unanswered. Doping will continue until the root cause is eliminated. Raising the age limit makes it difficult to publicize what is happening because there will be no scandal about a 15-year-old figure skater in the news. But the same 15-year-old will suffer the same violence, only at the training rink, Lipinski wrote. The former figure skater is not afraid to argue with dissenters and fiercely defends her position because she is confident in it. And her arguments seem weighty. While her own fans are drowning the Olympic champion, she is fighting for the truth, and this deserves great respect.